We left Denali and made our way to this beautiful boondocking spot just outside of Fairbanks. How about a pad ham? This has been our awesome spot. And we just had a park ranger come by and say, no camping here, it's posted. And apparently there is something on this sign up here in the woods <laughs> that says no camping on this somewhere. Since I know it's hard to see, I'll just let you know. The sign said camping allowed in designated spots only. And well, with the picnic table and a fire pit, that sure looked like a designated spot to me. We ended up leaving that spot and going over to Pioneer Park in Fairbanks. Pioneer Park has lots of historical buildings from all over Alaska that have been brought in and turned into little shops, donut shops, restaurants, etc. One of the shop owners actually had a pet grouse. He had named the bird House Grouse, and let me just say, the kids really enjoyed getting to pet House Grouse. This steamboat was built in 1933 and used to access interior Alaska long before roads were built. It was retired in 1955 and brought here. There are lots of little historical buildings all throughout the park and we enjoyed seeing them all. After leaving the park, we headed out to our next stop for the day, North Pole, Alaska. We were hoping to see Santa and the reindeer. Grandmother would go broke in this store. This is Jim Shore. What's Jim Shore? This. Look how cute that is. We always seem to end up at these Christmas shops in every little town that we go to. We did finally make our way over to see Santa and the kids were able to get a picture. We are at the Santa house and we just got to see Santa and now we are heading over to see the reindeer. We had seen plenty of reindeer at the reindeer farm about a month before but we enjoyed seeing these as well. After we left North Pole, Ayana asked if I would take her back over into Pioneer Park to do a little bit more exploring. She and I realized that there was a whole other section to the park that we had missed on our previous visit. Join us on our next video as we visit Chena Hot Springs and have one of the most memorable nights of our lives.